Director Organon Politics says the security team is composed of 269 personnel, including the civilians, and is in the country to help Lesotho implement Sadak decisions, amongst the other things. SAPMIL will support the Kingdom of Lesotho to strengthen peace and security, implement security sector reforms, and implement the recommendations of the Sadak Commission of Inquiry. Monitor and ensure that rule of law is complied with in the process of implementing the recommendations of the Sadek Commission of Inquiry. Identify immediate areas of priority that are to be implemented urgently, including the specific amendments in the Constitution and amendments of the LDF and the LMPS Acts with a view to ensuring separation of powers between the Army and the police. This mission, according to Honorable Muleleki, is of great importance to establish a conducive Lesotho for all concerned parties. He therefore promised that the government will work with this team to implement SADAC decisions and the reform process. Our commitment towards these reforms, which I've just referred to, find solid expression in our third coalition government agreement wherein we explicitly state our political will for and on behalf of the masses of the Basutu to implement all SADC decisions, including the required constitutional, security sector, parliamentary, public sector, and judicial reform. This mission was launched by the representative of SADAC, a chairperson of Organ on Politics, Defense and Security Corporation, who indicated that it is for the benefit of Basotho nationals and foreign bodies as well. The moment calls for action. Today we launch at this very place the mission. And from this mission we expect the best results. The expectation is that starting from today the mission commences and helps Lesotho regain peace and stability even when the security team has left the country after six months' stay. The Ronald Mutari reporting for LTV News in Masiru.